He talks to his girl some more. And in this particular conversation, he brings up this issue of, I don't know what to do. I might play Skyrim. It's a video game. But I don't know if that's helpful. She says, you should play video games. Screw, screw the world. I mean, do something that you want to do that's fun. She knows he's been having a tough time. This is what she says here. He says, well, look, what I really want to do, I can't do because it's evil. She says, well, and he says, I can't do that. Well, what do you feel like doing? Video games are the next best thing. They're escapism. What's so evil that you want to do? And you know what he says? Kill people, of course. She thinks this is just theoretical based on all of these other conversations they have, so she engages him. Killing people's too much effort. You'll end up locked up. Most people aren't worth the effort. He says, well, that's why you kill many people. Again, she thinks it's theoretical, and they continue to have a conversation. He invokes justice, saying taking away someone's time or life. And in fact, if you wait to kill to the end of your life, then there's nothing to lose. They begin to have a conversation about the value of life. And he says, what's more valuable than life? If you take that away, you take away everyone's experiences and all of their potential. And she asks about that, and he talks about it being human capital. And she says, what is human capital? What do you do with that human capital from having taken away people's lives? And he says, have a more meaningful life. And she doesn't get it. How does that work? And he can't explain it to her other than saying, this is what he wants to do. She says, it may satisfy you, but it doesn't fulfill your purpose. He says, but it'll still make my life more meaningful. And she still thinks this is just a theoretical conversation. She says, I don't see how it's useful. She confronts him and says, it's not like by killing people, you get the benefit of anything from them. You're not stronger. You're just taking away life. And that seems like destruction. And he says, look, I don't believe in absolute good or evil. She says, well, if that's the case, why don't you kill me and Ben, their mutual friend, who wronged him, she, by breaking up with him? Why don't you do that? He says, I told you I can't do that. If I did that, I'd get caught, and I couldn't kill more people. I'd also lose the rest of my life. 